Hello traders, this is Jerome Inglona, and in this week's Market Watch video, um, I'm going to go over a pair that we took advantage of uh, in the previous week, and a pair that I'm looking to get myself into, uh, hopefully the come the market open, whether it be uh, today, which is Sunday, and uh, we have a few hours before the market open. Uh, or if it sets up uh, later on in the day or possibly New York tomorrow, just depends on the volatility of the market. So uh, for the trade that we got in last week, um, it was, clear all this up here, uh, the new or the Aussie dollar. And we analyzed on a four hour chart. Um, and what we saw was this head and shoulders pattern. Okay, here's the head, the shoulder. And at that point, this is kind of where the market was. Uh, we were waiting for a break of this neckline here, which we got. So um, what I told our traders was if we got a retest of this structure um, for the neckline after the break, then we'd be looking to short this market and possibly hitting uh, maybe a FIB extension target or uh, looking left. Uh, we do also have this level of support and resistance. Um, oops, sorry, that's not what I was looking at right here. This level of support here. This was the next level of support. So, you know, we were looking for this, this area. A lot of noise. So, um, you know, who knows? We could be, at the time, you know, th this, this was important to us, was getting into this noise. Uh, could we break through? Who knows? So, um, you know, but just saying a retest is not enough. We do have to provide some type of confluence. And uh, so basically what I did was I measured this previous swing, right? And I have utilized a little bit of harmonics here, clone it. And I was pro projecting something like this, where we would get the pullback and possibly a uh, push, <clears throat> a push down into this level here, uh, looking left again. You notice it, it lines up basically at the support of that uh, those that noise that I pointed out there. All right, and also if I place my fibs right, swing high to swing low, uh, it would have lined up the area of structure where we wanted to get in the market uh, would have lined up perfectly with the six one eight, which it did right there. And then finally, if we're using a fib retracement, um, I typically pull out the uh, fib extension. And same thing, swing high to swing low, back up in, and you notice we get the uh, right in that one two seven two one four one four extension, right? So this was our target for uh, this was our target for taking profits. Now, when we place this uh, this trade, guys, it was during it triggered during NFP. And uh, just because of the whole volatility of what NFP uh, gave us, we did not uh, we did not ride the full the full ride per se. We just took advantage of the pips that NFP gave us, which was about a forty eight to fifty pip, depending on um, how quickly you close that trade out there. This is the hourly chart, so. You know, couple hours, and we were basically out of the trade for about 50 pips for the retest of um, this level of structure here, or support. I'm sorry, this level of support. Okay, so we definitely took advantage here. This was an awesome trade for us. Uh, another, uh, another fantastic trade that I believe we took advantage of was gold, and we were buying gold. Uh, every time it dipped down, so that was pretty cool. Um, but now moving on to what we're taking a look at here, uh, we've focused our attention here to the dollar Swiss. And the reason why is um, on the dollar Swiss, 
we do have this uh, uptrend forming here. We came out of a uh, consolidation zone here. So here was, right here, boom. This was, this was the top of the consolidation, and then here's the bottom, uh, you know, just in a ranging market. And then finally, as of right here, um, we got a break, right? Right there, boom. Make that green, yeah. So as of right there, we had the break um, into uh, an uptrend, right? Higher high, higher low, higher high. So we're looking for that lower low setting. And um, what what I'm seeing is this, you know, with again with NFP giving us that volatility, uh, the market shot down, and then it gave us a nice little pullback into previous structure support, and then we're getting this push down. So, um, you know, definitely another uh, consolidation area. But if I use my lines here, what you'll notice is we possibly may have a pattern. Okay, so let's pull out the fibs, make sure our ratios are in line. If our ratios are in line, we possibly have a uh, Gartley pattern setting up. So we're going to take this swing low, swing high, and we get the 618, and then our swing high, down to swing low for this pullback, and we got a 618. Uh, typically, when, he, when I see 618s hit, I'm looking for a potential Gartley pattern. Fibonacci extension, <clears throat> and there is our one two seven two all right so if I bring in the triangles here this is what we're looking at all right you stretch this out here so we can make it a little more aesthetically pleasing all right there you go Okay, so with our Fibonacci, we do have a bullish Gartley pattern. Uh, definitely looking towards the upside as far as this market continuing this uptrend. Uh, and that 1272 will definitely come in uh, at a nice level here. If I stretch this out, you can see that we do have some structure to back us up behind this. So, um, you know, let me. Let me do this, it'll be more clear. All right, stretch it all the way out. You can see how key this level is. So we got this support here, broke through. Um, another breakthrough, uh, test of support, breakthrough, test of resistance. You know, here's some support here, false break. Uh, right here, you can see it being respected as a resistance after it broke through. Um, over here, being respected once again. Uh, and then finally here, test re uh, a test of resistance. And then right here, kind of struggled until it finally broke through. So there's, you know, there's a lot of things going on as far as this zoning here. Um, so this 1272 extension here is definitely something to keep in mind. Um, Obviously, we, we work on kill zones, so here you go. That's going to be your kill zone. If I use a Fibonacci, we may get the uh, 786, possibly. We're going to now build build our case here. Get rid of some of this. Boom, there's that 786. Uh, let me add that 886 in here. There's the 886 lining up near perfect here. So we definitely have an area for entering this market here. All right, it's a nice little area. I'll make it make it red-ish. <laughs> All right. So now, um, so if if the market does come down into here, guys, uh, we're definitely looking to buy up this market, and uh, we're looking at a plot this here all 
we're looking at a potential potential two to one all right i'm going to keep stops uh below below x here right of our pattern so i'm going to keep stops below x here and we're looking at actually almost a three to one because uh you know i'm looking for targets based off structure and this was our previous high uh, so that would be our final take profits uh, obviously uh, how we run is you know once you hit a one-to-one -one, uh, you take partial profits move stops to break even and ride the rest of the way so um, you know definitely a nice little Gartley pattern bullish Gartley pattern on the dollar Swiss uh, looking to get into that market hopefully today um, depending on the volatility if not today uh, early tomorrow New York session. I'm thinking it'll complete. All right. All right, guys. Uh, so hope that helps uh, as far as looking to get into the trade. This is coming open. And I will see you next time.